is Jordan and today I'm going to be doing the media book tag. I was tagged by Rocky from Blonde with a Book. I'll link her video down below and along with the original um, creator down below. Um, this tag is um, a follow up boy book tag. I like some of their songs but I still enjoy their music so I was like I, met, I got excited about it. Plus, Mania is their new album, which I actually have not heard yet, but I definitely will check it out as soon as I'm done with the video, so let's get started. Question 1. I think the first song is Mania and a book with a purple on the cover, and I picked House of Hades by Rick Riordan. As you can see, it's parts of the colors here are purple. I just went along with it. It's dark purple, but... I still like the cover. I have not read the Percy Jackson series or the Heroes of Olympus. That's my goal. Hopefully I'll read both of the series this year. So, yeah, this book has purple on the cover. Okay, question two. I'm going to read them off of my iPod because I wouldn't be able to remember it. But the second question is Young and Menace, a book that goes away too fast for way too long in a good or bad way or a book that has mixed reviews. And I picked Stay in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. I actually, I don't usually look into Goodreads and what are um, best books out there. I usually pick out books that grab my interest, not by reviews, but I didn't know this book has mixed reviews, but I really enjoyed it and I read recently like like I said I, like I don't usually go on I'm surprised that this has mixed reviews but I'm I love the book and I can't wait to read the next book of the series so yeah <laughs> the third question is champion if I can live through this I can do anything a character you think can accomplish anything after what their author put them through and I picked Kenneth Everdeen from The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. I I just, she's been through a lot since, like, throughout the whole The Hunger, the whole series. I know, like, um, Kenneth has, like, a lot of doubts along the way, along with her journey, but she thought, she, she just, Susan Collins put her a lot of, put her through a lot of things and it's just unimaginable so I'm like I and that's why I like I love the the series so much plus their worlds like really hard to imagine <laughs> question four stay frosty royal milk tea plug one of your favorite stories or a story that had you hooked from the start I would pick any books on my shelves that got me hooked from the start, but for specifics, I picked The Hobbit from J.R.R. Tolkien. I actually read Lord of the Rings before I read this, but I'm glad I actually reread the series starting with The Hobbit and then Lord of the Rings. So I'm like, I gotta know how it all started, so I read The Hobbit because of that. Question 5. Hold Me, Tide or Don't, a book in a series that isn't how the story ends. To be honest, I have, I did not, didn't pick any books for this question because I got really confused. So I didn't pick any books for this question. Question 6. Last of the Real Ones. You're the last of a dying breed, the last book of a series. And I picked Allegiant from Veronica Roth. This has been my least favorite book of a series. I think anybody can agree with me on this if they've read Divergent. But I I love the trilogy overall, but I just didn't like this one just because, like, I just didn't like there's multiple perspectives. And when the first two books, they had one perspective, which is Triss's perspective. So I'm like... Why go through all of that and tell them from two different point, different point of views? But 
like I said, it's my least favorite out of all of them. But I mean, I still love the cover. Don't get me wrong, I still love the cover. But yeah, not my favorite. <laughs> Question 7. Wilson Expensive Mistakes. A book that's loved by everyone but you. So far, I have not read any books that everybody loves except for me, but I've been loving a lot of the books that I've read because of everybody on BookTube. So, I don't have any book, I don't have any answer, I don't have an answer to this question. Again, sorry. Question 8, Church. A book where you love the world, but not the story so much, or a favorite tragic love story? I would pick Romeo and Juliet for this question, but I picked A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. I can't say why because of spoilers, but I love this book, even though the movie's really different. I've watched the movies before, some of the movies before I read it, but for me, I'm 50-50. As long as they don't cut out the important parts of the book, I'm okay with it, so I still love A Walk to Remember. Question 9. Heaven's Gate. What's one reading habit you just can't kick? I'm actually got confused with this question, but I think a reading habit of mine would be like, I start reading a book, but then I end up stop reading it because I haven't been in a mood for it, and then go on to a n different book, but so far, I don't have a lot of reading habits, but I'm pretty sure, like, I mostly, like, my, I'm trying to explain my like my answer to this question, but that's the, the answer that I got as of right now. Question 10. Sunshine Riptide. A book that, uh, a book you have to read and reverse. And to be honest, I have not read any books that are told like, like backwards, but the only book I can think of that's kind of in that format, which is Winter Girls by Laurie Hulse, uh, Anderson, and no, I'm not related to her, but this book's about this girl who lost her best friend. I don't remember, like, how her best friend died, but as you go along with the book, her, the chapters are told by her weight scale, so it goes down as it goes, because she ends up getting an eating disorder after, because of that. I enjoy the book, but it's really sad, because I almost cried when I read it, so, yeah, that's my answer. And the last question is Bishop's Knife Trick. A fictional universe you never want to leave. I think this is like an obvious answer. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I just love this world so much. And I go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Universal Studios with my family every time we go. Because Harry Potter is a big part of our lives. And... And I can't wait to go back every time I go there. So it's like, I'm coming. This Harry Potter is the, another second home of mine besides Disney World. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's all for the media book tag. I don't know who the tag, since I don't know who else likes Fall Out Boy. But if you like Fall Out Boy and you want to do this book tag, bam, you've been tagged. And say that I tagged you. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below some of your favorite Fall Out Boy songs just because I'm curious besides from the album itself. Like I said, I have not listened to the album yet, but I'm pretty sure I will as soon as I'm done filming this video. And if you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook under Lost Reader and I have Twitter and Instagram on Lost Reader 19. And if you enjoy my channel, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!